Hello family, Lotus Noreen from Lotus Holistic Healing, and today we're going to talk about Earth Star Flower Essence. So have you heard of the Earth Star Chakra? The Earth Star Chakra is a chakra located below the feet and connects deep within Mama Gaia, Mother Earth. The Earth Star Chakra is separate from the seven most well-known chakras, we actually have um, separate but connected. Uh, I meant separate as in it's not one of the seven most well-known chakras. So we have many chakras all through our body, chakras in your hands, and many other placements that are not recognized as the most well-known seven chakras. And you can do a lot more research into that. You can look into the Vedas and learn more. So what is the Earth Star Chakra? The Earth Star Chakra is below us and connects us to Mama Gaia, connects us to our astral lineage, to our ancestral lineage. The Earth Star Chakra can connect us to our ancestors, can connect us to past lives. The Earth Star Chakra connects us deep within Mother Earth. And as I'm saying this, I'm rubbing my feet against the dirt, feeling so connected and grounded and rooted in Mama Gaia. And I created this blend for my Chakra Essence line, which I'll be launching at the Winter Solstice, and decided to first work with it this past week. I've been doing a um, meditation group, um, priestess group called Black Rose Mysterium. I've been joined in the Samhain <laughs> Black Rose Mysterium and it has been wow, <laughs> so enlightening, so and darkening because <laughs> we worked in the shadow aspects, ancestral lines and all of that. And when we were doing our ancestral work, the day that was planned for ancestral meditations and Akashic record work. That is when I started taking my Earth Star Essence Blend. I had already created it and had it listed, but I hadn't brought it to life. I hadn't brought it to physical form until this past week. And I'm so glad that I finally did. When I took this essence, I immediately felt a rush of energy through my body. It was like light. I don't know how to describe it, like glitter all through my soul and body. It's really powerful. If I can get this open, I'll actually share. Here we can do this. <laughs> I'll keep talking about the Earth Star in the meantime. So the Earth Star connects us into Mama Gaia, like I was saying, to that cosmic consciousness. And when we do journey work or meditation work, shamanic journey work, core shamanic journey, meditation work, astral travel, any of that where you are leaving the conscious body and then coming back, we can come back and ground through our earth star chakra. So, so that's a great way to make sure you pull all of yourself back from the journey. You know, like don't stay stuck in the higher realms or in the lower realms or stuck in that astral travel. Oh, we had a little bug. So we want to come fully back and become fully embodied. So I'm going to take this essence now, the Earth Star Chakra Blend. I just feel so connected, so centered, just one with Mother Earth. It's so beautiful. And some more about the Earth Star chakra or some more about the essences in this blend the flowers we have joshua tree flower which connects us to our ancestry both astral ancestry if you believe in past lives that's a connection there as well as our bloodline ancestry so joshua tree really helps us to connect with that a lot of the cactuses are extremely potent at connecting to the astral ancestry or physical ancestry there's something about the cactus that's out of this world and more with these stars or the spiritual or connecting back that ancient lineage and then next we have cigarro cactus cigarro cactus helps to connect to 
ancestry as well into the paternal lines. So the masculine aspect is that Sagiaro cactus. And then we also have the Splendid Mariposa Lily. Splendid Mariposa Lily connects to the feminine aspects, to Mama Gaia, Mother Earth. I, when I work with Splendid Mariposa Lily on her, on her own, I consider that Mama Gaia's love. That's what I write on my bottles when I'm working with Splendid Mariposa Lily. I write Mama Gaia's love because I feel so connected to Mama Gaia's love. <laughs> we have a raven calling. <laughs> How beautiful. That might not be a raven. That might be a different type of bird, but we have a bird <laughs> calling in agreement with us, <laughs> in alignment with us. So yeah, that nurturing aspect of Mother Earth, feeling connected to Mother Earth, feeling connected to each other, knowing that we are all one people, we all have one mother, we are all connected to Mother Earth knowing that no matter your race, no matter your culture, no matter your religion, we are all connected. We are all one people. We are all one. And I love that. And Splendid Mary Posa Lily might be my favorite <laughs> flower essence, actually. I work with her all the time. She was one of the first ones I worked with. And I love Splendid Mary Posa Lily for connecting to Mother Earth and Mother Earth's love. And that's really important with that Earth Star Chakra. And then we have Angelica, of course, the angelic, the ethereal, the angels, and also protection with that too. And we see a lot of um, white flowers in here actually connecting to that light, that ancestral, that angelic. Um, so yeah, so there's the Angelica and Forget-Me-Not. Forget-Me-Not is helpful to remember our ancestry, remember our past lives, the little, these are little blue flowers and it's for not forgetting. So for remembering, reconnecting and that alignment. And then um, some more I wanted to say about the Earth Star Chakra. There's a lot of different distances below our feet that people say it is. So I think you should just feel for yourself and see where it is for you. Um, for me, sometimes it changes and it's kind of connected more to the 5D. If you're in alignment with that term, you can use other terms if you'd like, but that it's not so linear. It's not something that can easily be described in language. It can vary. So yours may, you may feel yours deep within the earth. What I feel is I feel mine slightly below my feet and then I feel connected from my earth star chakra to like the earth's earth star chakra like the core of mother earth i feel that connection there and the color that we visualize that chakra as can vary for different people originally what i saw was this sparkling silver moon it looked like a sparkling silver moon in the earth below my feet and that's how i saw it and then i started doing more um meditation work with the earth star chakra and it started to gleam gold so i did some kundalini or eros energy uh, sexual energy work drawing up and when i did that my earth star chakra gleamed gold and started shining gold and now there's gold and silver and white and then the darkness around so like this beautiful light in the darkness the darkness is not bad it's just like under earth under the dirt that's dark and I see this is the radiating light in the darkness connecting to Mother Earth, connecting to the collective, the collective consciousness, collecting to, connecting to our ancestry, connecting to our bloodlines, our astral lineage, all of that. And it's even more, so much more that we can't even describe. That's, yeah, it's beautiful. So uh, a meditation that I like to do connecting to the Earth Star is I put my feet on the ground, I stand tall, I guess I'll stand up. <laughs> and I like to take my own flower essence first, but we just did that a second ago. So, <laughs> so I put my feet on the earth barefoot, or if you're just in your house, you can do this too and just visualize the earth below you. Like just put your bare feet on the floor in your house. And then I visualize light streaming up through that chakra into my body, the light of mother earth, the light of the cosmic consciousness streaming up in my kundalini energy, that eros energy streaming through there as well and through my body. 
and the flow and sometimes I'll visualize the great central sun going in here in through my crown and connecting down into my earth star and that light going up and down and I also really love to do rooting meditations so where I visualize roots coming from my body deep into mother earth and I like to ask her before I root um, that's just something I like to do especially if I'm going to root into the inner waters of Mama Gaia I ask may I drink of your waters and we're always connected I just like that asking so thank you so much family for listening if you want to share anything else about the um the earth earth star chakra feel free to comment about it and if you've worked with any of the flower essences i've mentioned so thank you family i love you i love you i love you and connect to that earth star do these meditations do some more research learn um ooh, find the vibrational um sounds on youtube i forget what's the word i'm looking for there's like a vibration that you can listen to that connects to the earth star i love to do that as well sound vibration flower essence vibration anything vibrational okay i love you all mwah, mwah, mwah. <laughs>